This is the plaintiff, Galena Garzon. She says she brought her very expensive, beautiful Galliano silk skirt to the defendants for alteration. And the woman flat out ruined her garment. She can't wait to show the judge how the woman butchered the thing. She can't possibly go out of the house wearing it. And is here suing for the $2,000 she's most definitely out. This is the defendant, Natalia. She says she's been in business for 25 years, thank you very much, and has over 100 happy and satisfied customers. This woman is nuts because she paid for the alterations, then came back and accused her of making the hem shorter so she could steal some of the fabric. Yes, that's right, to steal fabric. This woman has a lot of time on her hands, has no case, and she can't wait to see her walk out of here with her tail between her legs when she loses. She's accused of hemming and hawing. The defendant is filed a countersuit for $300 for harassment. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the dock of the plaintiff says the defendant ruined her silk shirt by altering it bad. But the defendant says she has 100 satisfied customers. It's the case of sulking over silk. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. Okay, Galina Garzon. Yes. You are suing Natalia. You've asked us not to mention, mention the company name or your last name. You're suing Natalia's business for $2,000. Yeah. 650 of it. For a Galliano skirt and yes. 1350 for aggravation. You are counterclaiming $300 for <coughs> harassment. How did it get this bad? What's going on? You know, when I bring this skirt to alteration, was six pieces of material. Six. What do you the, mean six pieces of material? Was it like, a skirt? Uh, yeah. Like one, you see? Like second. All right, I'm coming Third, down. four. Was six. May I see it? Yes, please. All right, you bought a skirt. Yes. And you paid how much for the skirt? Um, on the belt, you see, price $599. No, and, I and see plus, that somebody wrote on a ticket. No. Uh, oh, this no. is handwriting, honey. No, I tell you. Have a receipt? You, I tell you, no. You don't have a receipt? No, I don't have a receipt. Yeah, I, 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 I got this belt. No, when you buy something, yes. they, you give them money, they give you yes. a receipt. Yes. Do you have a receipt? No. Okay, so what you have to prove the value of, of a skirt that you bought is yes. handwriting that says $5.99 on a tag that... That's it. That's what you got. Galliano, this, yes. Where's the Galliano tag? Here. Here. And who's Galliano, anyway? This Italian designer. Okay. And this is the fabric? Yeah. Okay. And then, so you paid $700 for a skirt and then took it to her to alter? Not seven. Six. $685? For, no, $599 plus what? Of taxes, $650. $650 for a skirt. Yeah. And the only reason to pay $650 for a skirt is because it's a designer and you love how it looks on you. Yes. And, and even then, I'm not sure. But, you know, you, so and then you promptly took it to her to put an elastic band on it. You know, she, like she live in my community. What did you want her to do? Put belt, elastic belt. You wanted to take out the belt that says Galliano and you wanted her to put elastic on the top of this. Yeah. OK, go on. And I what else? And, and uh, cut this because it was longer in front. Okay. And then this is what she cut? Yeah, she cut. Okay. So yeah. what's the, and what is the problem? Problem, um, she, she um, steal two pieces of material. Look here, white color. You can see blue color. You see how this not the, not the same? And the, the, she destroy material. You think she stole material this wide for her own purposes? Or you not, think she not took... Not you this think wide. Took? Not this wide. Look, please. Now I show you what, what they did to material. They, they damage. They damage this material. Because from this material, you see? Look. Look different. Look different. And they, they, they put this... You see? Yeah, I do see. Okay. So when she br brings this in, what does she say according to you that she wants done? 
Okay, the uh, Galina uh, went to my store like one and a half year ago, and she brought skirt. Its problem was uh, it's it's easy. Uh, it wasn't new skirt. It somebody did already. It's not uh, uh, what is problem. It's uh, not uh, fit uh, waist uh, line and uh, not even length. And uh, what we can do, we can do put elastic. And uh, um, my tailor measure. Uh, who's the tailor elastic. measure? Yeah. Okay, so who's the lady in the middle? I mean, that she is my my daughter. She's like uh, she helped me by business. It's like I was a manager. witness to yeah. her, the, the conversation. The counter, also yes. The okay. So go ahead. She yeah. she took the skirt and then she Green brought container. it back. Yeah. After okay. Wait. 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 Uh, okay. So wait, but let's back up. And when she takes the skirt the first time, yeah, there was does no she, Did yeah. she try it on? On the no, 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 she didn't. She didn't try it on. So she, she took didn't. it, she went home, then she came back and said, there's a she problem. She went in a few days. Okay. No. And uh, she yeah. um, came no. with... Uh, what uh, language are you guys, were you speaking? Oh, Russian. Russian, okay. She came with a measurement tape, or in a measurement tape, and uh, she said, it's it was big skirt, now it's small skirt. And uh, I said, uh, it's impossible. I asked my tailor, I... Um, Call my tailor, and she said, "We don't, we don't uh, cut." Okay, nothing. so she's the one who actually tailored the skirt. Yes. Okay. So, uh, switch uh, places. All right. So tell me what you did to the skirt. Okay, she's coming into tailor. I measure to elastic, and um, need to cut a little bit. What? I fixed it to uh, elastic because. Give me, please. Yes. Yep, that works for me. <laughs> She's bring tailor like this. That's how she brought it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, she wait, she didn't bring no you belt, a skirt? No belt, no, no belt, belt. nothing. It's, it's, she just it brought it to you like that? Yeah. No, yes. So it yes. wasn't a skirt when she brought no, it in? It's not skirt, yeah. <gasps> mm. Yes. Whoa. Okay. It's somebody did already. It's somebody did no already. Yes. No, okay. You. She's, Ooh. no, I am look now. She's Ooh. thick like this. This is not me, chap. Okay. No. She speaks something now because we are fixed to... Did you take a piece of fabric from that? Nothing. Okay. No. Because no. this is score. I'm fixed all the elastic. It's it. When she took it away, was there an elastic band to it? Okay, when she when she when, when she picked it up the first time, I presume that she had yeah, finished yes. the job. So I am finished. The, so I there was an finished. elastic band. Where's that elastic band? <laughs> they took. Yeah. When you picked it up the first yeah. time, it had an elastic band, right? No, nothing. Let me ask you a question. Okay. She comes back. She says she's not happy. And what does she say to you? I give back her twenty five dollars because she unhappy. And uh, and uh, uh, how long ago was me, this? It's one and a half year ago. Okay, and then have you heard from her since then? Mm. Has she come to the store since yes. then? Yes. How if many times has she come to your store? Maybe, maybe f f three, four times. And what oh. does she do when she's there? Oh, she, it's, nobody can work because, uh, you know, she go through a uh, work room and uh, looking and uh, looking fabric. Why do you her? let her do that? Come on over here. How old are you? I'm 21. Okay, do you work at the store? Uh, well, I come there from time to time, but you know, okay. I help my mom. Have you time. ever seen her in there or no? I haven't seen her ever. Okay. She don't give when to she me. comes to your store, how long did she stay there? It's, it's, uh, one one uh, day, she she stay like four or five hours. And why did you call the police and, and no, have them no. take her away? Oh. Because and she doesn't want, she, ha she has a lo lo uh, lot of time. and uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know she has a lot of time, but if she's making everybody uncomfortable. And, uh, and they you know, it's Manana and, and another girl go, go out from work because they can't work. All right. Now, how, are you pl how do you plan on proving that... They should pay you $2,000 for that piece of material. So is it relevant that she had like 100 satisfied customers? I don't think so, because every case is different. I mean, maybe she hasn't dealt with something like a silk shirt before. Fair enough. What do you say? I would agree with her. I mean, they're all different. Okay. What do you say? Relevant or not? Uh, I would say it isn't relevant because the shirt is still ruined. Fair enough. The skirt still ruined, and that's the issue going inside the courtroom. How are you going to prove that that skirt is worth what you claim it's worth? By a little handwriting on a piece of paper? No, no you, you, you I need to see the receipt for that. 
I, I don't have receipt. Then, I, I you, then you don't have 600 and something dollars. I got b a bill. All right. Um, you have a counterclaim against her for $300 for harassment. Yeah, for something, yeah. Okay. I want you, what I want you to do, because it, it, it appears that when she comes, you don't tell her get out and you don't call the police. If she's not welcome there, then tell her you need to leave. You're not welcome here. And if she stays, then she's trespassing. Call the police and have the police remove yeah, her. Yeah, I see now. Right. See okay. Now. We also have, like, my mom went to the gym. Um, and uh, we have uh, like uh, notarized uh, statements from people who like witnessed uh, that harassments what? that no that witnessed the harassments. Wait, are we talking about the visits there? Oh, this is because she lives in our community. She also like uh, she would harass her in the community. How? She well, she would. Um, Go ahead. Yeah, bring me the, give me the statements. How would she harass her? She would uh, at the gym because they it's the same gym in the community. Okay. She would come to her. She would uh, call her. She would call her. No. Yeah. She would call her a thief. She would point. She would start gathering people and be like, "There's the thief. There's the thief over here." Like. And my mom tried to just like walk away from it. What did the gym throw her out or no? Because I know you got a letter. You got my a letter mom, here from the gym manager. Yeah, the gym manager. Uh, what happened was my mom ended up leaving. Wow. You know what? <laughs> Ms. Gerson, I find that you have been completely unable to prove that they stole fabric, uh, as well as completely unable to prove that that piece of fabric was a, once a skirt that cost you $650. Um, someone writing $599 on the back of a... Is, of, is this bill? Is, 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 no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm ruling. Stop. Sorry. Okay. Uh, does not prove that it is a $650 skirt as... The circumstances of the case also don't prove it. Ms. Gerson, you need to leave her alone, okay? I realize that you guys have the same community and have, I guess, friends in common, but you cannot walk up to her and call her a thief and whatever else you want to call her. That's not okay. So on the counterclaim for harassment... <laughs> I I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. On the counterclaim for harassment, I am telling you, leave her alone. OK, and on your claim against them for two thousand dollars, I rule in favor of the defendants. That's my judgment. Wow. All right. Here comes the plaintiff right here. Step on over next to me. And um, what would you like okay. to say? I, I tell uh, like, um, you know, I, I don't tell everything what I want. Mm -hmm. Are you going to leave her alone now? You know what? Judge don't listen to me when I come to her store and she tell me, look at her. She is crazy. I think she uh, received treatment and nothing help. Oh, you know, like they this. said those things about you when you went to she the tell. store. Yes, she did. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. That got you upset. Of course. So you did. I cry. I wait for her. I come with my skirt oh. next day. You, you, cry? you cry. Of course. Oh. I don't sleep all night, almost one one year. Wow. Okay, head head uh, head down this way. Wow, she she's very upset. You here? Uh, what do you think of this outcome here? Um, I'm I'm glad it's everything okay. Did you say those things to her in the store and get her upset? Call her crazy? Uh, no, never. Never. Nobody's I don't because when she uh, harassed me, I, I never I didn't say nothing, nothing wrong because. No, she says you did it yeah. first in the store. No, it's impossible because no. I have business more than 20 years and have a lot of customer and uh, I can't. It's business. I can't. Uh, okay. My behavior is different. professional. Yes. Harvey. I got to tell you, the judge really cut the plaintiff a break. Um, she could have been nailed for harassment. That will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.